What's up guys, it's King Canuck here. I'm coming to a brand new video. I'm going to be playing some Black Ops Cold War here. I'm playing some Hardpoint on Nuketown using the Tech 9. And uh, Black Ops 6 is only just around the corner and I'm very excited for that game. And it's a new Treyarch game. Treyarch is always my... I always love Treyarch games. Treyarch could never miss with a COD game. But uh, yeah, with that game coming out pretty soon, decided I'll hop back on Cold War. I've been playing it for a little bit here. And uh, yeah, it's... This game was always one of my favorite games. Like, this game was super good. It's probably one of my most time played CODs. I think I only have like 20 something days. But like this game was amazing. I have so many good memories on this game. Especially using the Tech 9. This is probably my favorite gun in the game. It was so broken when it first launched. And it still is even broken now. But like. Uh, this game was just. So many good memories. Had amazing maps. The kill streaks were. I mean, the kill streaks were okay. Like it's being able to get a nuke with my kill streaks was super fun. Like I can get my nuke with uh with the what's it called the war machine and the uh, the hand cannon. It's kind of like the old uh, MW two. The only problem though with the game I find was like uh, obviously skill based matchmaking but I reverse boost so like it's different for me. Every, I understand it's kind of scummy to do but uh, like definitely skill based matchmaking was an issue in this game and obviously um, the kill streaks were kind of weird though like I don't like how there's a timer like you can't just constantly call in kill streaks. Because it's, I guess it's because it's score streaks, but like the delay, like a minute delay each time is kind of stupid, in my opinion. I think it should have been no delay. But oh, there's the nuke. Yeah, like I got my nuke and I only had one set of streaks, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. But yeah, the boat. Oh boy. Oh, I have my shotgun. The shotgun was so broken in this game. This bad 12 was funny to use. Go. Let's continue going. Like this game, I find like you don't get as high kills as like you would in, I'd say, uh, MW3 for example. Like MW3, it's so easy to get high kills. Like getting 150, 200 plus kills is so easy because of the kill streak loop. Which I really hope they have the kill streak loop in uh, Black Ops 6. Which if they don't have it at launch, that's whatever. But like they need it. In the game, I'm looking. For, that's what I want is a kill streak loop system. And obviously, we didn't get all the kill streaks in the beta, which they wouldn't release like the advanced in the beta. I don't think that would be too overpowered to have in the beta. But like, the advanced is going to be super good in the full game. Like that's going to be a game changer. I don't know what other kill streaks they have. They've released the the list but I haven't really looked at the list of killstreaks I do hope though they have like dogs would be pretty fun they obviously wouldn't have a swarm but yeah they, they see some cool killstreaks like I know they had the chopper gun I used the chopper gun in the beta it was okay I find it was kind of like the hit detection was kind of weird on it which the beta obviously like can't really can't really determine the game off of beta I died. That sucks. I was on a 64 gun. Sh Holy shit. But, um. Yeah, the. Just. I just hope the game's good. I feel like it's going to be good. Trick never really misses on COD games. But, I. Like I said before, I hope there's good post launch content. Like, Cold War had some amazing maps, which was mostly throwback maps, like I've said before. But, like. I prefer throwback maps over. Like, new maps. Just because I like to play the nostalgic feeling of the old maps, to be honest with you. Like the old BO1 maps. Okay. Got him. Yeah, I'm I'm hoping they release some crazy, like, insane, fun maps from the BO1 and BO2. Even World Out War. Some maps from there. Like, so maybe some maps we haven't seen before. Like Grind. Or, not Grind. Grid. Would be pretty sick. 
But we'll have to wait and I, we'll have to wait and see the post launch. I, I'm gonna grind the game a shit ton, so it's only I think yeah five days. So I'm recording this on Sunday night. So once that game launches, oh man, it's gonna be super fun. Gonna try and prestige like once every couple days. Hopefully, depending on the love, how much leveling it takes. Gonna definitely go for all the uh, go for the camo. The dark mass or dark matter camo for multiplayer, not not zombies. Got him. Him. Collat was that triple collat or collat? I don't even know what that was. Oh, it's collat. Ooh, double nuke. Let's go. Hopefully, they have a quick fix in the game, which I don't know if they will. We'll. I I not really looked at any of this, the stuff for the new COD for Black Ops Six. Even though like I've seen the leaks, but I haven't really like paid attention to like exactly everything in the leaks. Actually, not even leaks. Like whatever Treyarch has posted, I haven't really looked at everything. Kind of just skimmed through it. Kind of just waiting for the full launch. Did see all the prestige icons which they showed, and they looked sick. Like the prestige icons are amazing this year coming up. Like they all. The first two, I think, every two CODs, or every two Prestiges are, like, represents each COD game that Treyarch's made. I think, except the exception of Cold War, won't be ex included, I don't believe. Which is what it is. It doesn't really matter. I, their Prestige icons are just insane already. They have released up to eight, I believe, what I've seen. And I obviously they show the mass prestige icon, and I'm excited. The grind is going to be super fun. It's going to hopefully if fun kind of reminds me of uh, Black Ops Four when I grinded that game. Like excited for it. We'll see though. We'll see how the game, how long it takes the prestige and the leveling. Oh my god, I'm almost on a triple nuke, I think, almost. Oh shit. Teammates are obviously sitting the hard point. Damn, triple nuke, let's go. Kind of, I understand it's reverse boosting, so... It's not like I'm super good at the game. But oh my god, I'm going off this game. Holy shit. I guess it's because it's Nuketown as well. And I died. That sucks. Well, I'm also calling the nuke. Get some extra free kills. Oh man. I'm calling three nukes. It's kind of crazy. Hopefully, uh, well, no, they did add a nuke. It doesn't end. Doesn't it? Oh yeah, it ends the game in Cold War in Black Ops Six. Oh, fuck! Actually, I shouldn't have called that in. Well, that's two nukes, 150 plus kills. I hope you guys enjoyed. I mean, obviously, there's still a bit more time, but yeah, this game was super fun. Can't wait for Black Ops 6, and yeah, I'll definitely be showing you guys a lot of Black Ops 6 gameplay. So make sure you have a comment, like, and subscribe to see more content on this channel, especially more Black Ops 6. That's going to be a game I grind a lot. And yeah, 153 and 6 is crazy with a triple nuke. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video.